Yo, you're watching Shurko and today we have some interesting news about Arena of Valor, guys. So I just got done streaming and lots of you came into my uh, chat and told me that there is some absolutely mental news about AOV and Honor of Kings esports. Now, if you don't know what Honor of Kings is, it is the Chinese, the original version of Arena of Valor. And it is basically the game that Arena of Valor was modeled after. They didn't want to just globally release Honor of Kings because like characters like Tulin, his name is uh, Suge Liang in the Chinese version. So they didn't just want to port it because it has a lot of Chinese mythology themed uh, heroes in it. So they kind of westernized it, you know, they put some Batman and stuff in there as well. But apparently these two games are going to be merging because if you again if you didn't know honor of kings is the biggest game in china it's, it is a mobile mobile just like arena of valor it's pretty much the same different balance some heroes are different but a lot of the heroes are very similar just different names different graphics and yeah this is crazy so i don't know what this is i didn't check the video yet we will be react andy and we will react to it together right now this should be crazy so let's get right into it guys Hi everyone, my name is Bernd Gotsman. I'm lead of Global Esports Center at Tencent Games, and I'm here today to share exciting and extraordinary news. It is definitely extraordinary. It's about the Arena of Valor Esports ecosystem, which is five years old and has sparked so much passion and created many great memories for a lot of us. We are pleased to announce that we are ready to take AOV Esports to the next level. And I have the pleasure and honor to share details with you about our esports plans for 2020. So for next year, starting next year. First, we would like to let everyone know about a major upgrade. Starting okay. in 2022, we will host the Arena of Valor World Cup as a brand new global tournament in which we combine Arena of Valor and Honor of Kings for the very first time. Okay. Next year's tournament will have an initial 16 group stage slots but we will increase the opportunities to qualify for those slots drastically by holding regional tournaments to allow top teams to fight their way up the ladder. With the global spirit in mind, the 2022 AWC will include the best pro teams from Asia, North and South America, Middle East and Europe. See, um, that is one of the big first changes. Uh, there wasn't any opportunity to qualify as a European or as a north american south american uh middle eastern player for the awc for the aic in the past couple of years uh, ever since the valor series stopped um so yeah it stopped like one and a half years ago or even two years ago so that is already really good news that we will be able to qualify again that makes this a truly global and exciting event each of these regions will feature new and exciting local tournaments for teams to participate in. The schedule will get an overhaul as well. Okay. With the 2022 World Cup taking place in October. We'll be soon able to announce additional details about the AOV International Championship. And we will have more information about the local and regional Pro League details. Okay. So how does the combination of two games work exactly. for next year's World Cup? That's the big question. That's the big question. Now, I saw in the comments that they will actually make one game where both rosters of heroes are in it. It sounds insane, but I don't know. The answer? With a brand new esports version that hosts both Honor of Kings and AOV heroes to ensure a fair, balanced and super exciting competition for all participating teams. Will, of course... Wait, okay, so they're actually making a new version of Arena of Valor and Honor of Kings combined into one with heroes from both. Now, there isn't that many heroes that aren't involved. Like for example, we don't have Jing from Honor of Kings, which is a really cool hero. That's gonna be mental, you'll see. Like she can create a she can create like a mirror image of its of herself with her ultimate. It's crazy. Um what else is there? Like we we they don't have Florentino, for example. They don't have Darcy. Like basically all the broken heroes from Arena of Valor that um, the Honor of Kings doesn't have, you know. But some of the broken ones from them we don't have either. Like there's a there's a stupid little bunny that keeps shooting a little water ball or something. It's crazy. But yeah, so they will. But how is that going to work? Because the graphics are different. 
the names of the heroes are different. Uh, this is going to be very exciting. I hope we will be able to at some point play this version on, you know, in ranked on our servers. And it's not just going to be only for esports, because at some point they have to, right? They have to make. Because otherwise, how are people going to practice? If you play solo queue, if you play your ranked as a pro player, and you just, you know, play Arena of Valor, and then you have to go to the World Championship and you have a completely different game, basically, with like 10 more heroes, that's going to change the whole thing. So I think we will have to be able to practice with that as well. So they will have to, I don't know, let's keep, let's keep listening. This is in the near future. Don't worry, we got you covered. We are really excited about the 2022 World Cup. And beyond that, our overall esports plans. We truly hope we will see all of you out there competing in and watching our tournaments. We can't wait to get the show on the road. Thank you for your time. And stay tuned for more updates about AOV esports. That is crazy. That is crazy. So they don't have a trailer or something for the new game. This looks cool. I never saw that. Um, so they don't have a trailer or anything for the new game. But there will be a new version. So it will be a new game. That's crazy. You know, people, uh, me included, we thought this game is done. So it is dead. But they also started doing some advertisements lately. Um, again, I don't know. We'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. Keep in mind, Timmy also has Pokemon Unite. Also developed by them. So Timmy doing some big moves here. Will Wildrift be able to compete? Will Mobile Legends bang bang be able to bang bang the enemies out of their way? We will see. Will Kurosuba Fantastic Days defeat all of them in the end? I think so. They have waifus. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe. Ring the notification bell for future um reaction and the content i'm the react lord yeah i know i know crazy with that being said hope you enjoyed see you guys next time peace